Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really intriguing name. At least I think it's pretty intriguing. Well, it is time yet again for another checklist. And I got my striped tiger bear here and we are going to jam out on my drum my little snare drum here you ready here we go Tried. It was a little something in there, a little something, kind of a little something here. All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's do our checklist, boys and girls. I hope we completed it. First and foremost, I hope you had a pretty cool day. How about that? I hope you had a cool day today. Yes, pretty cool, I might say. And I hope you did something fun, exciting, and brand new and different. Hope you did something that you'll always remember. Something that speaks to you and means a lot to you. And brings forth many memories. And I hope that you had a great dinner. And your bellies are full and satisfied. That's important. We don't want to go to bed and our bellies aren't happy. You know? It's hard to sleep when your tummy is like, Hey, you forgot to feed me. What's going on here? So make sure you have a good dinner. And make sure you've had conversation with your, with your family. That you discuss your day, your ideas, your thoughts, your feelings, how much you love each other, all of that good stuff. That's a good conversation at the dinner table. And afterwards, I hope you've done your chores. And that could have been before or after dinner. But it's on the checklist of things to make sure you've had done before you actually settle in for bed tonight. So, did you do your chores? How about those bedrooms? Are they clean? Are those beds decluttered? You don't have extra stuff in the bed taking up the space that you need for your body to be able to rest. So clean those rooms, boys and girls, and help out with any other chores around the house. And your homework. Yes, you've got to do that homework. Keep that brain big, beautiful, and brilliant. So please make sure you do your homework, even if it's just academic practice, just to keep you sharp. Because I do know that a lot of schools are on spring break right now, and that's all right. You can still do something, okay? Also, um, did you pick out your clothes that you're going to be wearing for tomorrow, okay? So you're ahead of the game. And, of course, pick those PJs out for tonight. Get your favorites. Those are always fun to wear. And then let's get ready to take bath or shower. Make sure that your bodies are fresh and clean from head to toe. You already know that's the way to go, Okay? And then you want to dry off with your towel and then put on lotion again from head to toe so that your skin is soft and smooth and refreshed. Then we need to also wash our hair if you need to wash. Brush your hair, comb your hair, wrap up your hair, you know, tie up your hair. Take care of what you need to do with your hair. Clean your ears, nose if you need to because, you know, the season's changing and we may get a little stuffy in our sinuses. Um... Don't forget to brush your teeth. Take two minutes to do that and one minute to floss your teeth as well as rinse your mouth. So split that minute and a half, 30 seconds each. All right, what else do we want to make sure we got done? If you have any medications or any nighttime vitamin that you take, if you have any equipment that you need to assist you while you're sleeping, please make sure that you do that. Have your parents supervise that. And let's not forget, okay? Um, you do absolutely want to use the bathroom one last time 
before you go to bed. That's important. Saves you the interruption in the middle of the night, we hope. Let's see. Then you want to turn on your night light just in case you do need to move about at night. And now, of course, we need to get a bedtime story read in. You know I have you covered here on Candy's Cozy Couch. But independent of us, we want you to make sure that you have that story time with your moms, dads, your family, sisters, brothers. If you're super readers, hey, you can be the story reader like I read. You see? So let's make sure we do that. And then, of course, after that, you want to tuck in. Snug as a bug in a rug, of course. Comfy and cozy. You know? Get you one good cuddle buddy, okay? And get in bed, settled in. Everything on your checklist is done. You want to make sure that you're giving your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members, your pets, all your loved ones that are living with you that are close at hand. Give them one last show of affection and appreciation before you go to sleep, before everybody goes to sleep. And then, of course, we need to say our prayers. Don't forget to say your prayers before you drift off to sleep, okay? And I think I covered everything on the checklist, so I'm going to hit it with a check. Check, 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 and check, 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 and I will say this. It's about monsters. These ain't no monsters. They just interesting creatures is what I want to call them. And it is entitled Noisy Monsters. Hear that? Yes, yeah, Noisy Monsters. All that giggling. Let's see. It says, hmm, with busy, colorful pages and a sound button to press, this is a fun and noisy book about monsters. Except the sound bu uh, button is not that noisy. I think they're over-exaggerating. But it's loud enough that you can hear it, so that works. Here we go. Some monsters like to go on vacation in outer space. And they got a spaceship. Dexter is going to visit Freddy on the moon. Okay. All right, Freddy. Freddy is excited to see Dexter. Freddy is so furry, he gets his hair cut twice a day. How many eyes does Freddy have? Uh, let me let you guys take a look. There's Dexter. There's Freddy. How many eyes do you see? One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Un, deux, trois. Ich, ni, san. Una, dos, set. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's three of them. Three of them. Monsters like to have lots of musical fun at parties. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Chester loves to play the bongos. So do I. Oh, there's a snake on the tree. I see a snake. Zach likes to dance with his many feet. Now, Zach kind of looks like an octopus, too. He's got like eight feet there. Zach goes through 90 pairs of shoes a year. Really? What is on Chester's head? All right. So y'all see Chester. What he got on his head? Looks like a crown to me. See that crown? Now look at all them shoes. Zach has got like 29,000 pairs of shoes. But it looks like you really have eight, eight pairs of shoes. Eight pairs of purple shoes. <clears throat> Snowball fights are fun, and monsters think so too. Bruno, Trixie, and Mike have snow fights that last for days. Okay, all right. Their rock hard fur means snowballs never hurt. Huh. Mike's nose is so big, it always gets hit. Yeah. Who just threw a snowball? Let's see. Now, remember, we've got Bruno, Trixie, and Mike. Bruno right here. Trixie, and then this is Mike. Question is, in case I didn't push the button, who threw the snowball? It looks
looks like Mike did it. Did Mike do it? No, nope. Bruno did it. Bruno threw it. Bruno threw the snowball. Mike just threw his hands up like he's going to try to catch it. <laughs> These monsters love going on monster spotting trips. Max, Zoe, and Bob are visiting a famous monster's lake. Max, Zoe, and Bob. Okay. They have five eyes each. Well, that's a lot of eyes. Five times three is 15. You count by fives. You'd be like five, 10, 15. Anyway, Bob's um, three fifth eye has spotted something scary in the lake. Really? What can you see in the lake? All right. Here we go. What do y'all see in the lake? Woo! Looks like a big, huge snake, like a big old anaconda or a Loch Ness monster. Check out Bob. Check out Bob's eye, though. That fifth eye, like, it's like, whoa, I see something. Whoa, I see something. <laughs> All right. Spotted the Loch Ness monster. All right. Seaweed monsters love to find junk using their long, uh, slimy arms. Huh. Seaweed monsters use their long arms. To find the best things. One of them's name is Bruce. Bruce has been collecting junk for eight years. Huh. Then you got Buster. Sometimes Buster accidentally picks up a fish. Oh, yeah. How many green things can you count? All right. Let's take a look at Bruce and Buster. Bruce and Buster. How many green things do you see down there? Counting the fish he picked up, and there's like an apple core, a sock, so a couple starfish. I'm counting about five things that are green. You see any more? Mm -hmm. Let me see. It looks like that is the end. All right. Yeah, we hung out with the noisy monsters, which really weren't that noisy but you know what they were pretty cool and i don't really think any of them were scary what do you guys think boys and girls i think they're really cool i'm like listen this is they're really fun and they're real colorful yes they have all kinds of cool things going on as i'm flipping through the book one more time admiring all the eyes that max and zoe and bob have they got five eyes and we only got two so you know they see more than we see. That's pretty cool. Anyway, boys and girls, that is enough for tonight on the Story Saturday game. Just one for tonight. Just one. All right? And I want you guys to get yourself settled into bed. We know that our checklist is done because we made that. Sh we checked that out before we started the story. So now that you're ready for sleep, go ahead and hunker down in your bed. And you know what to do. We're on our way to dreamland. So go ahead and close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. It's all up to you. It doesn't matter what. You don't have to dream about noisy monsters. You could. But dream about something that actually makes some noise though. I'm just saying. They was a little quiet with their <laughs> laugh. It was almost like they were whispering. But you don't have to. You dream about whatever you want to dream about. It is all up to you. The choice is yours. You will never have to have a nightmare or a bad dream ever. Or go through a dreamless night. You ever go through a night and perhaps you probably don't dream or don't get to remember your dream? Well, if you just do what we know, we know how to do, you have dreams every night. And hopefully you'll be able to remember them in the morning. So I'm going to let you get to that because it's that time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.